A vlogger Miriam has been on the show before when she talked about South Korean culture in London and today she's back and she's going to talk about something else that she's noticed in her city. Yes, because it's not only the South Korean culture that is hot and happening in the streets of London, but it's also her own culture and that's the Ghanaian one. Right, Miriam? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Tell me, how is the Ghanaian culture taking over the streets of London? All right, because I was, I was born in France, I noticed that in France, and the garden culture is not as strong as it is in the UK. In the UK, you can get to shops, um, African shops, um, and you can get, you know, garden ingredients to make garden food. Everything that you find in the most popular market in Ghana, you could find it here, uh, such as shito, uh, which is pepper sauce, dokno. Literally, you just have to heat them up when you get home and then it's done. It's amazing. So, and besides all this amazing food, we've heard there's lots of Ghanaian events going on in London as well. Can you tell us a bit more about these? Yeah, um, because there's a lot of media organizations here, there's a lot of Ghanaian presenters, radio presenters that are based in London. So because of that, the media presence is huge. There's the Ghana party in the park, which happens every summer. There's the Miss Ghana UK, which is the annual event that happens, everyone talks about it. There's the Guba Awards, uh, Ghana UK based achievements awards. There's a lot of things like that here. A lot of things. I need to go to London. Can you tell me, is this a positive or a negative thing for Ghanaian people in London? Well, it's a positive for me. It's a positive thing for me. But, you know, for those who, who were born in Ghana and moved to, to London to live a new life, to experience the same thing again, it might not be a positive thing for them. But for me, it is, yeah. Well, thank you, Miriam, for sharing. And keep us posted, please, about all the cultures in London. And for you guys at home, if you want to learn more about cultures in different countries, check out interconnection.com. Bye, Miriam. Bye.